What's up, sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel, and it's time to give you my New Year's Six Bowl projections heading into week number two of the 2023 college football season. I wasn't going to start to do this series until about next week because I kind of had to, you know, at least get a couple, you know, games into the college football season to learn more about these teams just a little bit. But I thought not. I thought why not go ahead and do it here. Um, you know, for week number two of the college football season. Um, I know I was going to start it, you know, next week and everything, but I'm going to go ahead and, you know, start it now. So, again, how this video works, I'm going to give you my New Year's Six Bowl projections. Uh, basically, what we're really talking about is the four, um, you know, New Year's Six Bowl games that are not college football playoff New Year's Six Bowls this year. But, um, you know, the New Year's Six Bowls are kind of different this year. They're really kind of hard to predict this year and, you know, hard to project against as well. You know, just basically basically the change to the college football playoff semifinal games as well because the college football playoff semifinal games are going to be held in the Rose Bowl and the Sugar Bowl games this year. So, again, we're going to be, per, you know, projecting the Fiesta Bowl, the Cotton Bowl, the Peach Bowl, and the Orange Bowl in this video. So, that's how the video is going to work as well. So, I'm going to give you my playoff projections from yesterday, give you, you know, the matchups from yesterday that I had in my week two playoff projections. Again, you can go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it. And like I said, I gave you a semifinal prediction and also a national championship prediction of that, you know, video as well. So again, this is not an official prediction. This is simply a projection based off of how the teams uh, played over the weekend in week number one. But like I said, it was just one week into the college football season. We got to learn more about these teams until we get into about the fourth or fifth week of the college football season. So let's get right into it with my New Year's Six Bowl projections heading into the second weekend of the college football season. And let's look back at my playoff semifinal matchups here. In the Rose Bowl, in the number two versus number three matchup, I have Florida State and Michigan here. Um, based off of the performance from Florida State in their game against LSU, they definitely deserve to be ranked here and obviously be projected to go to the playoff semifinal after that kind of performance against LSU. Now, don't get me wrong. I think LSU is a great team still, but Florida State just proved to be the better team in that game, and it just seems like LSU just really gave up in that game. Florida State just really came out really red hot in that second half. So Florida State, they got a lot of talent on this team. You could tell right away from that first game, they just really dominated in that second half. So Florida State and Michigan here. Michigan, they weren't really explosive in that first game on offense, but, you know, I think they're going to get better on the offensive side of the football. I mean, based off of what I saw with Michigan, they're not that explosive offense just yet, but they will be probably in the fourth or fifth week because maybe it's because Jim Harbaugh is suspended for the first three games, and I think that's kind of, you know, ruining, you know, Michigan's chances of being explosive on the offensive side of the football. So that's my Rose Bowl matchup from my college football playoff projections from yesterday. In the Sugar Bowl in the number one versus number four matchup, in the other semifinal I had Alabama and Georgia. Um, Alabama and Georgia were my preseason SEC championship picks. Uh, these two teams, I do have them playing for the SEC championship in the preseason. But based off of what I saw over the weekend, Alabama's offense really explosive against Middle Tennessee State. Uh, Georgia was also explosive on offense, and both defenses seemed really good over the weekend. Now, um, Ohio State is the reason why Alabama here is at number four. I mean, just based off of what I saw with Ohio State's offense, Alabama looked like the better offense than Ohio State. But I think Ohio State's going to find their offense in just a little bit. But I think Alabama definitely proved to be the better offense. But we're going to find out if Alabama's offense is really good enough in that, you know, game against Texas tomorrow. And again, we got some games coming up tonight. But I think Alabama and Texas is going to really prove to us that if Texas or Alabama is our serious playoff contenders, I mean, it's going to be really proven if Texas is a serious playoff contender. And then for Alabama, it's going to really prove that if Jalen Moreau is good or not, or if he's going to be, or, or, or if the offense is going to be really good enough for Alabama. But both of these teams were really explosive on the offensive side of the football this past weekend. And that was my number one versus number four matchup for the Sugar Bowl in the playoff semifinal. So let's now go to my regular New Year's Six Bowl projections for week number two. And we'll start with the Cotton Bowl, and that's Texas and USC. 
Uh, this is a matchup that everybody's kind of projecting at after, you know, week number one of the college football season. Uh, you know, Texas kind of looked a little bit sluggish on offense, but uh, like I said, I think Texas is going to get better on offense. It's going to really kind of prove to us that if Texas has a great offense this weekend, you know, in that game tomorrow night against Alabama, I mean, it's going to, you know, kind of, you know, prove to us if Texas is a serious playoff contender or not. USC, they've looked good in the first two games of the year. Uh, they haven't really played any really anybody that tough in the first two games, but the offense just really looks explosive already. Uh, they'll play Stanford in their first Pac-12 game tomorrow, which I don't really think it will be a problem for them. But again, everybody likes to see this matchup come, you know, to a head. You know, Texas and USC here, the reason why Texas is here in the Cotton Bowl is because they are the highest ranked Big 12 team as of right now ahead of Oklahoma. And I know Oklahoma probably should be here in the Cotton Bowl because their performance was better than Texas, but... I think Oklahoma, you know, they played against an Arkansas State team that wasn't good, so that's what the reason why I still got Texas here in the Cotton Bowl. And I'm not sure if this was my preseason prediction or not but for these game for these two teams, but again, we'll go back and see them. You know, we'll probably pretty much, you know, um, update them every single week and everything. We'll go week by week and update these, um, you know, projected, you know, projections for the New Year's Six Bowls. So these are this is my Cotton Bowl matchup: Texas versus USC. Uh, let's go to the Fiesta Bowl. It's Washington and Tulane. Washington, I have them as the second best Pac-12 team right behind USC. Uh, Tulane, on the other hand, I have them as the highest group of five team and the group of five champion. Washington looked really explosive on offense in their first game. Michael Penix looked really good at quarterback. I think he's definitely one of the best left-handed throwers in the country. Um, definitely in the Pac-12. I know there are some other great lefty throwers out there, but I think definitely Michael Penix definitely is deserving to be the best left-handed thrower in the country. Washington's offense looked really good. I think defensively, um, they, were, they were really good on that side of the football as well. Tulane um, surviving a couple touchdown win against um, South Alabama. I know it wasn't the performance that was really good for them, but I think Tulane is, you know, the best group of five team as of right now. I know there's UTSA out there, SMU perhaps, but again, based off of what I saw with Tulane, it's kind of hard to project against them. I know they only won by a couple scores, but Tulane, they're the highest group of five team as of right now. And you got UTSA and SMU, just like I mentioned, in those categories that could make a New Year's Six Bowl this year. But Tulane does play Ole Miss this, um, you know, tomorrow. I mean, that's going to kind of prove to us that if Tulane's a really good team or not. But I think they are a good team. I just think against the SEC, against Ole Miss, it's going to be a very tough game for them. But other than that, Tulane is, I think, the best group of five team in the country right now. So this is my Fiesta Bowl pick, Washington versus Tulane. Let's now go to the Peach Bowl, and it's Penn State and LSU. Now, a lot of people are going to say, where's Ohio State? Uh, you won't see Ohio State here in these New Year's Six Bowl games because based off of what I saw in that performance against Indiana, um, I can't put Ohio State in the New Year's Six Bowl because they didn't perform that well. Penn State, I think, looked way more better than Ohio State on the offensive side of the football. I know a lot of people, um, you know, are going to say that Penn State should definitely be, you know, in that conversation for the college football playoff projections. But I have to see Penn State play a really good team first in order for me to kind of put them up there in the top four category. But um, Penn State... Their offense looks really good. Defense looks really good. They beat West Virginia pretty easily. LSU, I know they got beat um, by Florida State, you know, really badly in that second half. But, you know, as of right now, I don't have any other options. I know Notre Dame is out there. They could probably sneak in here. But, like I said, I have to see Notre Dame play a really good team because it's kind of similar to USC. Notre Dame has not played anybody, anybody that tough you know, in the first two games of the college football season. They won't be able to play anybody tough until about September 23rd when they do play Ohio State. And that game's going to kind of, you know, tell us that if Ohio State is good on offense or if they're just really bad on offense. And that same thing goes to Notre Dame. But LSU, I'm not going to penalize them for losing that badly to Florida State. I mean, it was just really an awful performance in the second half. It just seems like the defense kind of got, you know, really beat down in that game. And also, they just look like they gave up in that game as well. But I'm not going to penalize LSU. That's the same thing I did with my top 25. I only moved them down one spot in my top 25 in week number two. I mean, my, you know, top 25 update. So 
This is my Peach Bowl matchup, Penn State and LSU as of right now. Again, this is not an official prediction. This is simply a projection based on, on how the teams played over the weekend. Let's go now to my last New Year's Six Bowl projection, and it's the Orange Bowl. It's Tennessee and North Carolina. Tennessee and North Carolina here in the Orange Bowl. Uh, Tennessee here, they're the second best or the third best team in the SEC because I got um, you know two SEC teams in the playoff you know from yesterday and the projections for the playoff. And Tennessee is ranked you know at number 11 in my top 25, so it was kind of based off of that. And then North Carolina, based off of you know Clemson's performance against Duke. That was enough for me to put North Carolina here in the Orange Bowl. I know a lot of people say that Clemson could probably win out, but I think it's going to be really impossible for Clemson to win out. I know Clemson's a great team and all, but I just again, after that performance against Duke, I just have to put North Carolina in, in here. And you know, North Carolina beat a South Car you know, a South Carolina team out of the SEC, which is enough for me to put them here in the Orange Bowl. So what a matchup this would be. Two great offensive teams going at it in this game. Two great quarterbacks. Uh, based off of the performances for both of these teams, Tennessee dominated on the running game in a, in a game against Virginia. This Tennessee team has great running backs at the line of scrimmage. They got a great defense, it seems like, after that game against Virginia. I know Virginia is not a good team. But I think Tennessee, just based off of their performance, they look really good. And then North Carolina, their offense was a little bit sluggish. But defensively, I mean, both of these defenses played really well in week number one. So that's why they ended up here in the Orange Bowl. So Tennessee versus North Carolina is my projection here for the Orange Bowl. And those are my New Year's Six Bowl projections heading into the second weekend of the college football season. Uh, give me your New Year's Six Bowl projections down in the comments below. Uh, who you have in, in, you, in your New Year's Six Bowl projections. And again, this will be a series that we'll be doing every Friday night. I know I don't normally post on Fridays, but this will be a series that we'll be doing every Friday night. And again, this is just based off of how the teams uh, played over the weekend. So again, these are my New Year's Six Bowl projections. Give me your thoughts down in the comments below. And stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross Sports Channel.